A visit to the Nina Mason Pulliam Indianapolis Special Collections Room here on the sixth floor of the new Central Library will give you an opportunity to view a beautiful new mural created by Hammond, Indiana artist Tom Terlemke. It's entitled The Book of Life, The People We Know, The Experiences We Have, and The Conditions Under Which We Live. Terlemke explained his inspiration behind this colorful work of art. The mural was loosely inspired by the uh, book, The Magnificent Ambersons, written by Booth Tarkington. And uh, I just thought after I read the book that the, the kind of things that went on in the book uh, resonated with me with what's been going on in the world over the last 10 years or so. So I thought it would be a, a, a good thing to, uh, to use that as inspiration for the mural. And the mural, uh, in short, uh, takes you basically from, from being born, life through living, to death and all the things that, not all the things, but many of the things that one might experience like uh, childhood, um, falling in love, um, good things you've done in your life, bad things you've done in your life, the choices you've made, um, your job you might have, recreation you might do, um, a camaraderie and fun with friends and things like that, maybe a, a big grand event you attended or maybe a more humble dinner that you uh, attended, uh, those sorts of things that I think everybody experiences as they uh, as they, you know, make their way through life and in, in hopes that uh, you, you, you get the feeling that you have to sort of use these experiences kind of to build your character and to um, uh, just try to just be a better person as you carry on through life with those experiences sort of guiding you or leading you. That's basically the mural in a, nut, in a nutshell. As far as the precedence for murals go, you need to communicate a lot of information in, in actually relatively small space. So um, the montage idea works very well at that. You could take it would very, be very much like scenes in a play or something. About every 10 feet of the mural depicts something else. In the very beginning of the mural, you see there's sort of an agrarian landscape and there's some like soldiers, you could say they're settlers and they've come in on the land and there's a conflict with the natives and then you carry on a little further another 10 or 15 feet later you see that uh, people have started building a city and and then with that comes sort of development economic development stuff like that so about every 10 or 15 feet another kind of scenario unravels and the colors actually they're all um, um, they're all put there to mean something there's a there's like a component here where the city's being built where it's reminiscent of like the American flag where there's red and white stripes and in the upper left hand corner of that area there's like a blue block which would be equivalent to where the stars and stripes are um, there's there's a, there's an area here where there's uh, an African American family during a really hard time during because of uh, prejudice and stuff they're kind of like depicted in the shadows and then and then they sort of come out of the shadows into a brighter area towards a poet I have a poet depicted and John Brown depicted so that means that there's there, there may be light in the future which of course we've experienced now that there most definitely is.